Okay, so till now we have seen the basic algorithm we use to perform bottom-up parsing and that algorithm is called as shift reduce technique. Okay, so so the so the overall axon of bottom of parsing is classified is categorized into two main function one is called shift where i uh, so first of all i represent the parser state of a bottom of parser as a sequence of terminals grammar symbols terminals containing terminals and non terminals where there is a marker in between okay now this marker uh, is such that the in the string which is to the right hand side of this marker represents the unanalyzed text string and uh, and it's purely and it totally it contains only the terminals whereas in the left hand side we have some analyzed string okay and uh, and we perform the reduce action on only on the right on the rightmost portion of the left hand side string okay now now let us come to the implementation of this shift and reduce technique okay parsing technique so basically the implementation of a shift reduce parser is done through what we call as a stack automata or push down automata stack automata implementation for shift reduce parsing what does this mean this means i can perform the shift and reduce action through a stack so so the left hand portion i can implement through a stack and the right hand portion will be the unexamined input string okay so how does it look like so every so i have a stack and that can contain the grammar symbols containing terminals and non terminals and every shift action what i am doing i am just pushing so so earlier it was moving the marker one place to the right here it will be pushing the symbol into the stack okay and what is my reduce action reduce action means i'll pop uh, zero pop one or more just a second one or more grammar symbols from the stack says that says that those popped up symbols constitute says that uh, says that those symbols constitute one of the rhs of a production okay that represents the rhs of a production and we we reduce that thing we possess the non terminal so i have just uh, uh, written this says that a is those symbols constitute the rhs rhs of a production and b so what we do we take that production and we push the left hand side non terminal into the stack okay so this is the simplest implementation so we check uh, from the top of the stack okay is there any rhs it is not as simple as that but we check for a in in reduce action we take a production which matches the top of uh, means top symbols uh, from the top the symbols of the stack that constitutes the rhs and then we possess the left hand side of that rhs uh, that production 
okay left hand side non terminal of the production into the stack so this is the basically the reduce axiom now the key issue is when to decide when to shift and when to reduce okay i uh, for example uh, in the last example i have made three shifts okay so initially the marker was here okay and on the first shift the i just uh, pushed the terminal int into the stack and moved the marker one place to the right currently the marker is here now i may decide because i have a production uh, t as int okay so t as int i have a production so and in the stack i have int but i can all i can always uh, so you can say that i should have performed the reduce action there and replace it with t understood i should have popped int from the stack and pushed t into the stack but that is not the case okay because by that i i will not reach at the starting symbol e okay so that is why i intentionally didn't uh, perform the reduce action i just shifted one more time two more times basically to uh, perform the reduce action after that okay so this decision is is uh, is uh, means for this decision we need to take while doing this shift and reduce technique okay so in order to do that so so the main concern is i can say when to reduce and when to shift okay so this is the main question we ask while while doing shift reduce parsing okay and to answer that we will introduce another concept and that concept is called handle okay so so handle is something so i say that we will do reduce if the top of the stack contains a valid handle okay i will define what this handle is so this is my claim okay from that let us now try to derive the properties of a handle then i will define so a handle should be what first so a handle should be so a handle should be the rhs of some production okay that doesn't mean okay that doesn't mean that any any rhs can be a handle okay a handle should be rhs of some production okay second is that so so, so the main idea is uh, second is that let me tell you handle should always appear on the top of the stack because because what we are doing we are doing the shift tax reduce action only by popping the top symbols and and my claim is i should reduce only when the top of the stack contains a valid handle so a handle should be present on the top of the stack okay now with this let me define it uh the handle should be in a way i can say let me write it in a uh, more elegant way so a handle is a string of grammar symbols okay which can be terminals and non terminals which can be reduced 
by applying inverse production okay what we are doing in actually a reduction is nothing but inverse of derivation so so I, I am applying inverse production okay that allows me to eventually reach at the start symbol starting non terminal understood if if a given reduction is not helping me reaching at the starting non terminal of the grammar then that that uh, string cannot be a handle okay even if it matches the right hand side of a given production it cannot be a handle for example here we can say in this case int cannot be a handle okay int cannot be simply int cannot be a handle because it is not helping me in reaching the starting symbol but I can combine int star int here int star int this this star int is a handle okay I can say int star int is a handle okay even if I am I am using this t as int here while reducing but I cannot say that only int is a handle I will say that star int is a handle okay or int star int combine uh, means all the three symbols combine and constitute a single handle okay okay so with this now let us try to so so this constitutes the uh, overall concept of a handle okay and uh, I will discuss about about the next uh, sip reduce algorithm in the next class.